Argentina's presidential candidate and current frontrunner Javier Milei is a right-leaning populist, and there are positions of his that I disagree with. But in this series, we're going to take a look at his platform plank by plank and see if he's actually far right, like the English-speaking media likes to claim so often. Today, we're going to look at his position on drugs. So here is Javier Milei in his own words, uh, going as far back as the year 2017. Vos también estás a favor de eh, liberar el comercio de, de drogas. Sí, exacto. Es decir, no, no regular. Sí, pero ojo, ojo con esa discusión porque puede llegar a ser tramposa, ¿no? Porque es lo mismo que el tema de la inmigración. Tiene que ver con si vos tenés o no tenés estado de bienestar. Si vos tenés estado de bienestar, ¿sí? donde todos pagan la cuenta, no podés estar a favor de la liberalización porque, porque generas un problema de, de free rider, ¿no? Digo. Now we have Javier Milei's position once again in the year 2021. Si fuera por mí, Mendez, vos te querés drogar, hacé lo que quieras, Daniel. Drogate, hacé todo lo que quieras. Mientras que yo no tenga que pagar la cuenta. Uh -huh. ¿Me comprendés? O sea, vos te querés reventar a droga, hacelo. Mientras que yo no tenga que pagar la cuenta. Ahora, cuando vos tenés Estado, que sea además Estado de Bienestar, que además se dedica a la, a la salud, si yo tengo que pagar la cuenta, no quiero que te drogáis. All right, so his position on drugs is pretty consistent. So there are a couple of likely policy proposals that we could draw from this. Number one, he probably seeks to either legalize or decriminalize various drugs so that they can be bought and sold commercially. And also he's going to scale back the welfare state. He keeps saying you can't have all these drug users if uh, you have a welfare state paying for them. But one of his main campaign platforms is he's going to scale back the size of the government and the welfare state. So once again, we're back to use as many drugs as you like, but the state is not going to pay for your rehab. This is not an endorsement of his position. This is a clarification of his position. It's up to you to make the decision as to whether you agree with that or not. But so far, here is what far right people actually believe about drugs and drug users. Like, oh, if we legalize pot, we'll just be a freer country, I don't know, a more relaxed country. But it's not like we're just we're just going to slide into suddenly legalizing methamphetamine. Oh, well, we did that pretty quickly after legalizing marijuana in certain yep. states. So I don't, I, I am a person that does not believe that it would render people freer. I don't, I don't believe that at all. Thank you for watching and thank you for staying informed.